All right, my friends, just going to share with you some interesting tax numbers from the uh, latest uh, IRS tables uh, going back to 2016. We don't have the 2017 out yet, but I, I find this interesting. I think you might as well. So if you're interested in tax planning, retirement planning, taxes, you've come to the right place. Sign up, uh, subscribe down below. Thumbs up always help. Comments, the whole thing, and share the videos if you will. So let's dive right into this. I think it's pretty interesting, actually. So interesting 2016 tax info straight from the irs and there is just tons and tons and tons of spreadsheets on there i'm telling you man you get lots to look at all this and i i love it something weird about me all right so for people with less than a hundred thousand dollars of agi we had 20 122 million returns so folks with less than a hundred million adjusted gross income of which those 122 million pay 288 billion dollars in total taxes. All right, so <laughs> that's a lot of taxes, my friends. Uh, off the top of my head, I don't know what the average is there. I didn't figure it out, but let's go over here. So 122 million returns, 288 billion of taxes if you had less than 100,000 AGI in 2016. 50 to 100,000 AGI, look at the drop off, only 33 million returns. All right, so if you have less, I mean, look at that from less than 50,000, it'd be, I mean, that's 80, 90 million returns for less than 50,000. So, this section right here, and this is probably most of you, I bet, this is probably where most of you are about 50 to 100,000 AGI. I imagine that's the, the bulk of my YouTube subscribers and the bulk of my client base as well. 33 million returns, $298 billion of taxable pension distributions, and $209 billion of total tax paid. So these guys right here pay $288 billion for anyone with less than 100 AGI, but of that, 209 was paid by this percent right there. So only, what's that, uh, 80 billion was paid by uh, 90 million taxpayers because you had 122 total from zero to 100. They paid 288 uh, billion in taxes, but of that, from 50 to 100,000, you only had 33 million, which is 90 million less, and they paid 209 billion of the 288. All right, so let's go down here. Total returns 2016. Total taxable Social Security, $285 billion. Total taxable Social Security, $285 billion. Oh, right there. I guarantee flipping to you, the I don't know about the vast, but a significant proportion of that taxable Social Security is coming from here. Yeah. All right. Taxable pension annuity, total return, $693 billion. That's total, everybody. $693 billion total, and then $257 billion of IRA distributions. So we add those two right there, because remember, taxable Social Security is contingent on these two guys, because that is the provisional income rules. And I just, man, I, I beat this dead horse, I get it, but you gotta understand this. 257. So we got $950 billion of taxable pension distributions, IRA distributions, and annuity distributions. Oh, let's just say a trillion dollars. That trillion dollars then forces your tax Social Security to be taxed $285, $285 billion. Now, don't say it's just the rich people. I guarantee you a bulk of that $285 is coming from here. Guarantee. Well, I don't guarantee nothing. I imagine. And I guarantee some of these people are paying tax on that $285 billion of Social Security, even though they have less than $50,000 of AGI. Why? Because of provisional income rules. Talked about that a million times a Sunday. If you have a provisional income of over $44,000 and you're married, 85% of your Social Security will be subject to income tax. That's just a fact. All right, let's keep going now because I, I love this kind of stuff here. So let me erase some of this here. I got my notes, so we'll erase down here. Just erase, erase, erase. Erase, erase, erase. All right. All right, so let's keep going. I, because I find this interesting. All right. Oh, but yeah, so this is pretty interesting. For every four MF 
J, married filing jointly, we had three single taxpayers. All right, so it's interesting, huh? If you had four married couples, you have three singles, so there's definitely not a, uh, an equilibrium, but pretty close. I, I would have thought I'd been more married to single, but it's not. And obviously, you have widows and whatnot. Widows are single. Uh, I, I'm not including head of households either or marriage filing separately. There's just not that many to put in there. Uh, total AGI. Uh, let's see. Total AGI equals $280 billion. All right. Average itemization. Is this for $100,000? Yeah, so this is for... Uh, okay. Oh, that's oh. Let me go back. This is what I want to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, this is for fifty to hundred thousand. That's right. Okay, so total AGI for fifty to a hundred k of AGI. All right. So excuse me, fifty to hundred k of AGI. If there's four married filing jointly tax filers for every three single. Their total AGI is two hundred eighty billion dollars. There's thirty three million. Let me go over here. Thirty three one nine nine million returns. Of which 18,000 or 18,594 18, million standard deduction and 14,599 million itemized. All right, so I know my handwriting is pretty poor there, but there's uh, three, 33.199 million returns for the, uh, for the category of 50 to 100,000 AGI. Four of every of every seven were married finally jointly. Three of every seven were single. Of those 33 million returns, 18.94 filed a standard deduction. It means they had no itemization. And 14.5 had standard, uh, itemization, so they took more than a standard deduction allowed. Now, this is where it gets pretty interesting to watch. All right, because this is going to be fascinating, I think, especially as we go forward to the new t uh, new uh, tax bills that we have. All right, so watch this. I'll get my trusty notes here. The tax, well, we are talking about that. Um, oh, yeah, the average. All right, so we talked about total AGI is $280 billion. The average itemization. All right, so remember, we had 14,599 filers. Filers for the 50 to 100K AGI. So we have, let's just say, 14.5 million filers who itemize in a 50 to 100K AGI. You know what their, atom, their average itemization was? Nineteen thousand bucks. The average standard deduction, just to let you know, is ten thousand six hundred forty-eight. But that doesn't matter. Hmm. Does that mean anything to you? The average itemization for the fifty to one hundred k AGI. Now remember, there's a lot more single taxpayers in this category than I would have thought, because it's four to three ratio. But still, what jumps out at you? Nineteen thousand bucks if you're married filing jointly. Will you be itemization anymore? Itemizing anymore? Nope. You're not going to be itemizing anymore because you have at least a twenty-four thousand, a twenty-five three hundred, or twenty-six six standard deductions going forward, depending on your age. Now, if you're single, it'll be uh, was it twelve thousand or thirteen thousand six hundred. So you will probably still itemize, but just see. Here's the thing, though. Let's just say. You're in a 13,600, you're over 65 years old, over 64. So you're going to be able to write off, what's that, 6,400 deduct, not write off, $6,400 of income. I mean, I hate to say it, but whoop de do. 6,400 of income <coughs> at 12% is only going to give you a tax savings of 768 bucks. And now, I, look, I'm not saying, you know, just throw that money out the window when you're driving down the highway, but I am saying, if you're paying $3,000 of interest to get a tax savings of 768 bucks, you know, that's not a good trade-off, my friends. That's a bad trade-off. Don't do that. Anyway, so I thought that was pretty interesting. So the vast majority 
of people in the fifty to hundred thousand dollar AGI will no longer itemize, which means your mortgage there when it says you need to take a mortgage for the tax deduction, well that's just silly talk. Um, all right, let's keep talking about this. So we have again fifty to a hundred K AGI. <coughs> we had Fifth, uh, taxable, and I talked about this last video, but I think it's interesting. Social Security, $56.83 billion, taxable Social Security. We had a uh, number of filers, $5.432 million. All right. Uh, IRA distributions. IRA distros is what I call them, distributions. 34 billion, again, the $50 to $100,000 threshold, 2016. Number filers equals 2.1 million, all right? And now pension slash annuities, 105 billion. And again, the pension and annuities, and mostly the pension, Everyone says no one has pensions anymore. I agree with that. But for retire, well, I guess retirees today, pensions are still a significant amount of money uh, relative to the taxable Social Security, relative to the IRA distributions. Pensions dwarfs IRA distributions for sure. And IRA distributions includes 401ks and TSPs. Number filers, $3.8 billion. No, million, excuse me. So, we had more people by far paying taxes on the Social Security than had IRA distributions or had pension distributions, by far. A whole lot of people were paying taxes on the Social Security. And I'm telling you, man, and with the standard deductions, with no more itemization, it's only going to be worse if you're not being careful, for sure. Um, let's see, what anything else I want to talk about? Now we talked about that. So that's pretty much it. I thought that was pretty interesting, actually, the tax stuff for 2016. There's just tons of data in there. and I, I mean, I can't tell you how many... <laughs> Jeez... I'm such a weirdo. I got, uh, I don't know, probably 20 pages just taking notes, looking at these various spreadsheets. It's, that's the thing about the internet, man. You go to one link, you're like, oh, let me go over here. They're like, where was I? I can't remember. Ah. I'm sitting there like, oh, yeah, I got to write that down. I'm just, oh, it's crazy, but it's fun. So, 50, 100,000 AGI, which again is probably the bulk of the people watching this, the bulk of my client base. Taxable Social Security, 56, 8.83 billion. IRA di distributions, taxable, $34 billion, and pension distributions, $105 billion. Remember, these two things right here make that. So if you have IRA distributions taxable and pension distributions taxable, you will have more taxable Social Security income. That's the way it works. Thus, reduce your taxable IRA distributions. Can't do much about your pension, but reduce it at the age of 60 to 61 and 62 with Roth IRA conversions, my friends. Do it. Do it now. All right. As always, if you like what you see, subscribe. Thumbs up, comments. Love to hear your comments on this stuff. I love it. And we'll talk to you next time. Thanks, guys.